Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Well, we are here. We're going to talk about Mama Joyce. We're going to talk about Mama Joyce and Todd. We're going to talk about the relationship between Mama Joyce and Marlo. We're going to talk about how uh, Mama Joyce gets Candy back in action with um, the escape group and what she felt on how Mama Joyce played Marlo Hampton to the left when Marlo had came to one of the concerts that Candy's group uh, or Candy and amongst her group of women had a concert all right here in Atlanta and I think they were helping out Mary J. Blige when she was here they were part of her act when she she did a little benefit concert here I believe Uh, but Another here nor there. We're not really concerned about that. We're concerned about how Mama Joyce was treating Marlo Hampton out in these streets. When Marlo Hampton tried to come tell her something. You know, give her a little hug or something. You know, show her some love or something. And <laughs> Mama Joyce probably told her a thought in her mind. Get back. Um, get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> get thee behind me, Satan. It's probably what she wanted to tell uh, Marlo, but she chose to give her the silent treatment and just look at her. <laughs> Mama Joyce can get you with just that look. And you know she ain't playing about candy. Candy bear. Candy girls. Honey, she don't care about uh, anybody. But if anybody try to come for her candy bear, she going to mow them down, child. She is going to mow them down. But that is the concert uh, that, it, well, no, that's not the concert, but that's just a good picture of uh, Tiny and Candy. And I don't know why I thought that was Coco, but I don't think that's Coco, y'all, is it? And Mama Joyce, but you know, Mama Joyce love to be around celebrities. She love to be around uh, camera time. And honey, she do give us her feel. She do give us her feel on what she feels about different people. And I'm not, I'm not mad at Mama Joy. Because Candy let her, you know, parlay, sashay all around the Real Housewives of Atlanta crew. And her, um, when she's doing SW, right, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, when she's going around her uh, girls group escape, you know, Mama Joyce in rare form then because that was the group she thought she had put together. <laughs> when in actuality, she just helped them get to certain uh, meeting greets and, you know, try to get an audition to um, to more people that were in the business. And she really got them around town and helped them get their hair fixed, their, you know, the wardrobe going. So she was a pivotal part of uh, escape and uh, she loves to critique their music and their dancing and 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 everything. She's like their manager, their unspoken manager, <laughs> their unpaid manager. But they realized, you know, she up in age and she did help them when they were younger and they just showing her respect. But Candy Bird is out here. I did not know Candy Bird's date of birth was um May seventeenth. That is actually my mother's date of birth. And yeah, them Tauruses, child, when you get them mad, whoo, they will run your ass in the ground. Or you would wish you were under that ground when you crossed them and they didn't like what you were saying. <coughs> so, that was a mess right there. But, yes, we had to just come on over here because I got this from the um, Peach Report Daily. And I was like, Candy, why you do that to Marlo? You don't, you don't get nobody that bad. Don't you don't go for the gusto, girl. You went for the throat when you tried to put Mama Joyce in the middle of you and Marlo's spat. Or you should should have never even told your mama that you and Marlo got in a spat. Cause you know Mama Joyce ain't forgiving like that. Well, I should say she may forgive, but she ain't forgetting. And 
to me, that's the same thing when it comes to Mama Joyce. Child, please, don't y'all remember her and Miss Sherry Todd's Tucker's uh, mom? <laughs> they were fighting, fighting, and then fighting, okay? I was, I hated she died, but, you know, it comes, it goes, we come, we go, and that's just a circle of life, isn't it, people? But, child, if Mama Joyce won't let up on Todd's ass, how did Marlo, when you know Candy went home and told everybody in earshot, and when Mama Joyce got a whiff of what had happened, she won't stand Marlo no more. So Marlo is in the same boat Todd's in. She don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm like, yes, Mama Joyce needs Jesus. And Candy need to put a barrier on some things that she don't really feel her mama should be a part of. But honey, baby, I think uh, Candy just let Mama Joyce loose. <laughs> The drawn up more um, interest in looking at the housewives. And Mama Joyce knows how to do what she do when she do it, okay? So I guess she's helping Candy with her storyline by uh, treating <laughs> Marlo the way she was treating her. But <clears throat> I, I can't wait to see that scene. That must going to be the first to the, well, well, we call it the last one they show or the next one to the last one they show because they want to keep us, you know, being pulled in. But you really need to put those best episodes out like the first three so we'll stay here. And entertain the rest of the mess. Okay. But it is like cheers, cheers, cheers. Thank you Mama Joyce for coming over here. And helping Miss Candy Burris get her or you know retain her peaches I should say. Because you do come with it. You do come with it. But sometimes you be out of pocket Mama Joyce. Sometimes you be out of pocket. Because I know Candy let you handle your um people that don't like you and your age group without her stepping in you know she she gonna let you do what you got to do and when you get hurt or whatever she'll be there to take you to the hospital <laughs> she'll be there to bandage you up however it gets done candy gonna be there for you uh but that's just funny as hell that's just funny just bring me back to you know when Todd mama was alive and they was fussing in uh candy's them kitchen and uh mama was calling mama joyce was calling Todd's mama and dad are pimping a hole. I, <laughs> I said, no, she didn't, Lord. No, she did. No, she no, she got to come back. She got to come back and, and face the music. <coughs> but, you know, then shortly after that, Mama Sharon had died or passed away. And then Mama Joyce felt that it would be a bad way to uh, put Todd down and carry on since he lost his mom and it wouldn't be aesthetically pleasing to the eye to see Mama Joyce cutting up like that but um uh, those are memories those are memories very fond memories of mine <laughs> <coughs> it wasn't right but it was funny it wasn't right it was funny y'all it was still funny so we just do that little shade in here but let's go on over to the peach report daily and listen to candy spill on how mama joyce felt about marlo even though candy says uh they had made up and i'm like do you really make up with anybody candy do you really make up with anybody girl <laughs> <coughs> but let's go on and listen hold on you know marlo came to our concert saturday she was out there dancing and then, okay, here's some other tea that you may not know. So my mama was at the concert. And you know, my mom, you know, she protective of her child now. Now she been watching the blogs and she seen that me and Marlo fell out during the season. Now I just told everybody that me and Marlo has made up, we cool. But my mama's still mad that she saw that me and Marlo got into it and she know Marlo said something crazy about me. Well, it ain't shown on TV yet, but my mama's already mad. So my mom's sitting at the front row of the concert. Marlo goes over to talk to her. My mom didn't want it. Wasn't trying to be nice to Marlo. So Marlo says to her, when she saw me, she said, girl, I think your mama ain't messing with me right now. She said, I was looking at her. She was looking at giving me this look like, don't talk to me. I said, ah. I said, well, you know how my mom is. Everybody knows Mama Joyce don't play. You know, Marlo came to our concert Saturday. She was out there dancing. And then, okay, here's some other tea that you may not know. So my mama was at the concert. And you know, my mom, you know, she protective of her child now. Now she been watching the blogs and she seen that me and Marlo fell out during the season. Now I just told everybody that me and Marlo has made up, we cool. But my mama's still mad. Cause she saw 
that me and Milo got into it and she know Milo said something crazy about me. Well, it ain't shown on TV yet, but my mama's already mad. So my mom's sitting in the front row of the concert. Marlo goes over to talk to her. My mom didn't want it, wasn't trying to be nice to Marlo. So Marlo says to her, when she saw me, she said, girl, I think your mama ain't messing with me right now. She said, I was looking at her. She was looking at giving me this look, like, don't talk to me. I said, ah. I said, well, you know how my mom is. Everybody knows Mama Joyce don't play. You know, Marlo came to her. <clears throat> so that was what Candy had to put out on her social media page and telling her or telling us what had transpired at one of the concerts she had performed at with um. Uh, her group escaped and uh <laughs> mama joyce was less than friendly <laughs> she was less than friendly so i feel like you ain't gonna pick at my baby you ain't gonna pick at my baby now okay you ain't gonna call her uh everything under the sun except for a child of god you are not finna do that ma'am <laughs> you're not finna do that and marlo felt that rage and she wasn't going to be a part of Mama Joyce's wrath, okay? Because she know in social media world, we're going to always take up for the elder. We, we love our seniors, honey. Because once they hit that 60-some mark, like going, like the middle of 60s and later, going to the 70s, the girl, we, mm -mm, we love our seniors. I don't care if they acting a fool like them. Don't touch our seniors. Don't touch our senior citizens because they going through some changes. Their mind ain't all together. Their body ain't feeling right. So, uh, <laughs> Marlo tread lightly, and I'm so glad you bowed out gracefully and took your behind onto your seat, or, or wherever else you took your uh, behind onto, because mm -mm, Mama Joy don't play. <laughs> Mama Joyce don't really play by her kids or her family to tell you the truth. She coming after you. And what she say? You ain't going to like it. Because seniors now, a days, I'm noticing with my own mom, they have no filter. <laughs> they have no filter at all. You cannot filter them and tell them to use the good words. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> Mama Joyce said, I'm too old to even care about any of this. <laughs> I'm just going to speak my mind and let my mind speak, okay? So, I was like, I was here for it. I was here for it. I'm like, dust your shoulders off, boss. Dust your so shoulders off, Miss uh, <laughs> Mama Joyce. But that's all I got of this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like it. Love it. Got to have more. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>